again youtube viewers this is smooth bass man throwing down another video had some questions uh in my email around how do you set up an audio device in cubase uh number one thing it needs to be iso compliant um, you purchase that device install those drivers on your windows machine and then have that device plugged in and powered on and everything good to go before launching cubase uh, all those steps have been completed on this uh, before this video so i'm going to go through what happens next in cubase sx so after you've installed that device on your machine the drivers are working and you use the included software to uh, get you up and going come over into cubase after all that's done and come over to the devices uh, menu and then go to device setup your device setup is where you can do um, add all your MIDI hardware as well as your remote control devices and video hardware. Uh, today we're looking at just audio hardware, so we're going to come into the VST Audio Bay selection. After you select that, make sure you, uh, this is most of the time already selected, do direct monitoring. And do not release ISO driver in the background, so make sure that's not selected. It's going to help you out with your performance. So then come into the VST audio day, whatever the uh, default driver was before um, you installed your new hardware, that's going to be already selected. And you just click on that box and then you'll see all your other selections that you have available to you. So your new device should be in this list. If it's not, make sure you go back and make sure your drivers are properly installed. Cubase will pick it up as soon as the, the program starts. So come in to select your new one. I'm just going to select the existing one and you should have this box come up. Do you want to switch? Yep, you want to switch. And then that is complete. So now to check it, you come into your that particular item here. Make sure that the clock source is selected to that particular device. And check to see your inputs and outputs are, are, are visible to you. So on this particular device, I have 22 inputs and 22 outputs. Additionally, in this one window here, you can select which items are going to be visible and which items are, are not visible. This helps you when you get over into the next piece of this puzzle. I'm going to make it another video of actually setting up your routing of your, uh, your interface. So... For me, I don't use Mix 1 and Mix 2, so I just have those no. And the digital inputs, I don't use those, but I do use all the ADAT inputs as well as all the analog inputs. So I just make those disappear. Outputs as well. Uh, any outputs that you're not using, just go ahead and select those as, as uh, not visible. I'm not using those two particular outputs, and I don't use any of the ADAT outputs as well. So I'm just going to let's select all those like that uh, but everything else is pretty much um, used so then after that you just click OK and the next video is going to show you how to uh, set up your routing <laughs> 